walked through that door, Dr. King said, are you the boy from Troy? Are you John Lewis? And I said, Dr. King, I am John Robert Lewis. So from that moment on, he started calling me the boy from Troy. One of the most courageous persons of the civil rights movement, Congressman John Lewis has dedicated his life to protecting human rights, securing civil liberties, and building what he calls the beloved community in America. We had to march. Selma was a place where people could not register to vote. People had stood in unmovable lines. It was a tremendous amount of fear. When we got to the top of the bridge, the highest point on the bridge, down below we saw a sea of blue Alabama State Troopers. And we continued to walk. I had a concussion at the bridge. I thought I saw death. I thought I was going to die. Risking his life to advance equality rights for all people, John Lewis was among those in the forefront to protest for voting rights. Their actions sparked President Johnson to sign the Voting Rights Act in 1965. Brother John Lewis. At only 23, Lewis was the youngest speaker on the program at the 1963 March on Washington. We march today for jobs and freedom, but we have nothing to be proud of. I didn't think what President Kennedy had proposed went far enough. I thought it was too little, and I thought it was too late. I, I tried to say it. Some people didn't like what I had planned to say, and we made some changes. Fifty years later, He's the only person living who spoke from the podium on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. 50 years ago, I stood right here in this spot. 23 years old, had all of my hair and a few pounds lighter. So I come back here again to say that those days, for the most part, are gone. I gave a little blood on that bridge in Selma, Alabama for the right to vote. I am not going to stand by and let the Supreme Court take the right to vote away from us. The 2011 recipient of the Medal of Freedom, Brother Lewis has been called the conscious of the United States Congress, a genuine American hero, and a moral leader who commands widespread respect. You look at the real giants in our fraternity. Modern day, you think of John Lewis, who almost gave his life on more than one occasion for civil rights. This living legend never forgets his Sigma roots and returns at every opportunity to embrace the Brotherhood at conventions and conferences. And we made a commitment that we were going to do our part to bring down those signs that say white waiting, colored waiting, white men, colored men, white women. We were prepared to die for what we believed in. Courageous, resilient, a trailblazer. Phi Beta Sigma fraternity at its Centennial Gala celebration is proud to present Brother John Lewis, the Centennial Lifetime Achievement Award.